Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Vivid Days and we are going to have some fun this evening. We are going to do a double dip with resin. I'm going to use the Colour Cottage, Colour Cottage pigments and I'll bring you in shortly to see them. But I have levelled my board. That is pretty important that you make sure it's level before we start this. I've painted my board's uh, canvas, should I say, with some yellow. So just use any acrylic yellow. Uh, that's because when you're working on canvases, your resin can pull to the edge and you just want to make sure that you've just not got the white canvas coming through. And I have put tape on them all. And these canvases are kind of cool. They're £2.99 and you get a little easel with them. Uh, so I'm all prepared and I am, yeah, just curious. I think the idea is I'm going to measure out my resin, 100ml of resin, and that is craft resin one part hardener to one part resin. I'm going to let it then wait for a little bit. I'll come in then and add my pigments and then let it wait. So you've got to hold your nerve a little bit and be organized, but I'm going to wait until it's, start, it's about halfway to curing because I want it to be slightly firmer and less runnier, give the chance for the bubbles to dissipate, and then we will come in and have some fun and see if we're successful with this. Anyway, cross your fingers, I'll be back and I'll show you the colors. I've mixed up my colours and spread them. I've got a little bit of resin left over in case I do need to mix up any more colours or I have a disaster. But I'm now going to wait, set my timer for 10 minutes, come and apply it, wait another 10 minutes and then do my dip. Yeek! Wish me luck!
Sharon from Vivid Days and we are in for review time. So I was exploring dipping with resin art and there's been lots of learns along the way. And the question is, can we dip resin? Well, in the words of Bob the Builder, yes, you can. What I'm trying to perfect is the timing of dipping. So I'll take you in and I'll show you. This was my original piece where I waited for the resin to cure for 10 minutes and then came and add in my colour cottage pigments. And I do love some of these effects, but what I found is um, when you put it on your original piece, you do get some nice effects and some cells and you could choose a different colour palette. And I came back and added some more embellishments myself. But the interesting find for me is the one that you dip it on top so not the one with all the colours on, but I did give it a base of yellow. Just takes enough of that resin colour off to allow these cells to start to form. Now, I use the Casting Craft Yellow mixed in with the Colour Cottage Yellow. And it's most likely because it's a powder mixed in with a paste. And heavier colours and mixtures create these cells. But I love the possibility of depending on whether you want to put the resin pigments directly onto your canvas and then pop this on top or whether you're going to put your resin onto say a silicone mat and then be able to just dip your canvases in to get more cells like this because this was my second board where I put some on and you do get some nice colours and there's some nice cells and nice effects. I really do love this yellow background. I don't know if it's just reminding me of spring or anything like that, but the colour cottage pigments are really great for giving you natural effects anyway. But you do see some, but this is where I would have put most of my colour on. But then when I come and dipped and I added my canvas on top, this is where you got these amazing cells. So I'm going to explore this a little bit more with putting it on a silicone mat and then coming in, trying some different colours and maybe trying it without the casting craft added to see if it's just the pressure of applying my boards that gives you these effects or whether it's the, the base layer that has given these. Now, I was a bit worried because as I kept coming back and looking at it, and you look back to the video footage, a lot of that pigment has gone underneath the yellow. So there was definitely more pigment when it first came out, uh, but this is it after curing. It was quite angelic, like part of a butterfly wing. And I had a tiny little piece left at the end and you saw I didn't want to waste any of my resin and I just popped it on, got my heat gone and then it did create some natural cells without there being anything pushed on there. So it is possible to still get them. We know that from different bases that you put on. Um, but just take a little splendor at some of the possibilities just with pigments and colours. Now they're all abstract, they're not of anything particular. Although these two do remind me of flowers. In flowers in a vase, this reminds me of a delicate wing of a flying creature. Now I'm taking you in now because these were the original ones where I did my dip. So I was working on a big piece, it was an epic fail, so I decided to dip some boards and this was my original one. Now I never got the same cell effects on this one, but this was my original one where I applied my colour. I love the depth that you get in this piece with these colours, they are just divine. Sorry you're getting a high shine. Well, absolutely, it looks like that's floating on lava or something in the middle. Absolutely stunning. Now, this is the board that I put on top. So I didn't get the same sort of cells or effects with this, but this is one where it, there's a little hair there. <laughs> I had to come and add more pigments down the side because I didn't add um, a base layer of anything. I just put the dry canvas directly on top of it. So where it did connect, you got the middle part, which is definitely of the same family as the first one but it didn't cover my board so definitely is value by putting resin on your board itself before you press it onto it um but yeah in the words of both the builder 
can you dip it? Yes, you can, in the words of Sharon. But I'm going to come and fetch this. I'm going to work with different colours. I'm going to get the different timing and have my little science project and I'll share it with you. Then obviously, if you find value in this, you can take this and run with it. But it's kind of cool. But thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Remember, if you want to showcase your art, join my Facebook group is a small but very friendly group that are sharing all their art projects and encouraging each other and wherever you are be kind be safe and remember to visit my etsy store if you have time some of my work that i have left is still there and i'm still bringing up my back catalogue but make sure you do come back and visit and see what little fun projects i am working on but you're amazing i really value your support I hope you found value in this and I'm going to shut up because I'm digressing. Until the next time.